Welcome to the ECDL Word Processing Modules, Section 3.1.3. We now need to understand how we can apply text formatting such as subscript and superscript. If we have a look at this example document here, we can understand what we mean by subscript and superscript. In this first example here, where we've got uh, the tech train and then TM, uh, we can see how the TM, a trademark symbol, is normally written in small letters and up high, so written above the midpoint of this line. Similarly, in H2O, the chemical symbol for water, the 2 is normally written in a smaller font size and written at the bottom, a bit lower down. Superscript is the script that is up high, and small, and subscript is the script that is small and low down. So super, think of Superman flying up high, and sub, a submarine that goes down. So once you understand which one is which, how do we apply that? Well, first of all, let's take the TM, I'm going to highlight the TM, and this is a font formatting change. So whenever you're asked in the ECDL exam to make a change to the format of the font, first of all you have to make sure you're in the Home tab of your ribbon, and then have a look at this section here which is labelled Font. Now you'll see two little X's here, one here and one here. And if you look closely, it isn't easy to see. I'm not sure if you can see in this video. Hopefully you can. Um, if you're looking at this video in HD, then it'll be a little bit clearer. Um, but you can just about make out that at the bottom right corner of this button, we have a small number 2. And at the top right corner of this one, uh, we have a number 2 again. So number 2 at the top right corner here, bottom right corner here. So this is the one for subscript, sub going down, and this is the one for superscript or going up. Now again, I've mentioned before in, in these tutorials that if you hover your mouse over a button, you will get a little tooltip that tells you exactly what that button is. So if you're not sure which button, rather than clicking and making a mistake, and then having to undo that mistake and then do it again, which takes time and it also potentially could lower your score because the more clicks, the more typing that you make, the, the potentially lower your score. It's best to hover your mouse over the button, make absolutely sure you know which one's which. There are keyboard shortcuts, as you can see, but they're a little harder to remember. Um, you've got Control plus the Shift button plus the Plus button for Superscript. And then you've got control plus the equals button. Excuse me. Uh, control plus the equals button for the subscript. So it's a little bit um, harder to remember the shortcuts for this. But if you can f find these two buttons and you look closely and you see the little two at the bottom and the little two at the top, that'll help you work out which one's which. So let's actually make that change now. So we highlight the TM trademark. This needs to go up needs to be superscript, so we click the second button here. And you can see how that now has been reduced in size and moved up high, so it now uh, is just the top half of this line. And then if we take the 2 and we highlight that, and this time we go to the subscript button here, the one with the little 2 at the bottom, we click that. Again, you can see how that Number two has been reduced in size and moved down, so it's lower down uh, that line of text. So superscript and subscript, easy enough if you can remember which one is which and you can look closely at these two buttons so that you can spot that little two uh, and see which one is which. Have a little look at on your own screen, open up Microsoft Word, have a little look at that because it'll make a little bit more sense if you can spot the detail there. I will just show you one other way of doing this. I'll highlight the TM again, and instead of clicking on these buttons, I'm going to click on this little pop-out button at the bottom right corner here. Now this allows us to access a whole range of formatting um, uh, tools. Uh, you can see obviously you've got font styles, font uh, uh, styles here, the sizes and so forth. 
uh, font colors. So a lot of these are available in this panel at the top. But what you do have are these two checkboxes here, one for superscript and one for subscript. So if you can't remember in the exam which one is which, whether the superscript is the one with the number at the top or at the bottom, uh, rather than hovering the mouse over there, you could simply click the panel pop out and then click superscript. And then once you've put a check in that, click OK, and that will be applied to it. Again, I can highlight the two, click on the panel pop out for font, and then put a tick in subscript, and then click OK, and there we are. So exactly the same tool, just two different ways of accessing it. Uh, but as long as you remember which one's which, and you remember to hover your mouse over a button so that you can remember uh, or be reminded by that prompt, uh, you'll be absolutely fine.